guys, I'm Emily. This is Max, I'm Zach's wife, and I wanna tell you about a little project we're doing to baby-proof the house. Max is always getting in the pantry, stealing all our snacks, hiding them all over the house. So we're really excited about this project. All right, so we're gonna be installing a barn door, but it's going to be a folding barn door, so it's gonna open and fold on itself to close flat over here. Because uh, we don't have enough room here for a traditional door, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty cool. So this is the rail. It's going to be mounted up here. So I'm going to have to mount a piece of wood across here to mount this to. First, I'm going to cut out this door, and then we'll start piecing it all together from there. So yeah, it's just like a normal barn door, except this end is fixed. So this piece slides, or this roller slides, and then uh, there's hinges here. And these rollers are actually on, they pivot as well. So as it opens, these fold on each other and uh, it'll just stay off to the side over there. So yeah, I'm just going to cut out this whole piece and then I'll come back and cut it at, down the middle. So it'll be exactly the right size. So I need to take this trim board off so that I can put a board across here for the uh, track to mount to. So yeah, I just need to try to pull this off without damaging the rest of it. I'm just adding a uh, board behind here because there's some long lag screws that are going to go through here that the track is going to be mounted to. So I had to beef up this little piece of wood here. So this is the track and then these are the little rollers. So I'm just trying to figure out uh, the right spacing. I just want to mark the bit so I don't drill through the wood. That way I don't have to fill anything on the back side. All right, so now that this is up here, I can get a accurate measurement for how long the door needs to be. And then we can go and cut the plywood to start making the door. Okay, now that we've got that cut, we can start installing this hardware.
So these uh, roller brackets need to be mounted an inch and a quarter from the outside edge of the board. And then uh, you need to have a gap so that it can swivel. So I'm just using this little washer as a spacer. Alright, so now we can go try to hang it and see if it uh, fits. I need to just get it positioned so I can mark the bottom so I can mount the little pivot piece that goes down there first. That looks straight. Let's see. The bottom is. No, it's good. A little bit like that. Yeah, that's good. We need to play some really epic music in this scene. Got it. This is the fixed spacer, so it's going to be screwed to this backboard. And I'm just trying to get this spacing right so I can know where to mount it. Alright, so we've got this thing installed. Seems to be working pretty good. We just need to do some a little bit of fine tuning. It's hitting here a little bit and uh, it's rubbing a little bit at the bottom. I think I just need to move the bottom pivot piece out a little bit and then uh, it shouldn't be rubbing this trim anymore. 
And I think we're just gonna clear cut this to match our cabinets. Okay, so next, I'm just gonna keep trimming some of the stuff out, and um, we're gonna be adding some shelving in here inside the pantry. And then I need to seal off the ceiling in here and uh, do a little bit of trim work. Just need to cover up this exposed plywood and trim this out. But yeah, we're almost done with the pantry.